everyone. My name is Rick Warwood. I'm here today for Hook for Life Fly Fishing. We're going to tie a pattern that uh, is called Matt's Midwestern Leech. What I thought we'd do first is go over some of the materials that we're going to use and then we'll go through doing the setup. So what we have for materials is we have some Canadian tube fly shanks. We have some uh, ice dubbing in um, an orange and chartreuse. Canadian tube fly uh, dyed mallard flank feathers. We have some micro rabbit strips and some cross cut strips. Flashaboo in green and copper. We have six op black thread and we have seven strand wire. Uh, there's different wires on the market so you can uh, go to your local tackle shop and you'll find the, uh, the wires that are available for you. Um, so let's get underway. First thing I'd like to show you is that I use a 55 millimeter shank and what I actually do is I trim the shank and then I put a 90 degree bend and that way it fits in the vise and it's nice and secure. You'll notice a lot of people they actually uh, just hook it by the end but I found it slips on me so I like to do it this way. So let's get started in tying this fly. First I'm going to take my 6 off black thread. Trim it and run it to the back. I pre-rigged my 7 strand wire with my owner SSW size 1 hook. And if you notice, I actually put a little bit of scotch tape on the hook. That way I eliminate poking myself with the hook while I'm tying the fly. So I'll tie it in. I'll wrap my thread forward. And then I'm going to take the wire and wrap it underneath and secure it under, underneath. This way it won't slip when I'm fighting with the fish. Next I'm going to take my tail material which is black zonker strip. I just tore a little bit of material away so I've got clean leather to tie in. Tying it down nice and secure and then I'll trim it to length and I like to actually cut a little point. It's more for aesthetics than anything else. And I like to have it roughly to the hook length. Next I'm going to take my cross cut black rabbit and then run my thread up leaving roughly about a quarter of an inch and then down the shank nice and tight I'll wrap the rabbit working the material back. get up to the where I have the thread. I'll tie off the rabbit. Next I will take some flashaboo. And I like to tie in a good Good section of flashaboo in green, folding it over the thread so it's equal, and then drawing it in and tying it on top. Next, I'll take some copper flashaboo, folding it over the thread, making it equal, and tying it also on top. Securing it down. I've taken the liberty of trimming up a mallard flank feather. And I'll tie that in on my side. And then I'm going to form a loop with my thread. thread out of the way. 
taking some wax, I'm going to wax both sides of the thread. And then I'll take my orange eye stubbing. I'm going to spread it up along the thread like this. Taking my little turbo spinner, get my materials out of the way. I'm going to give the spin. Fourth, covering the shank, building a little bit of a ball here. Next, I'll take my lead size medium dumbbell eyes and apply them to the bottom of the shaft. By doing this, that'll actually force the hook to ride up, which will make the fly somewhat snag-free, because you certainly, when you're fishing for steelhead, it's a good idea to get the fly as close to the bottom as possible, where our lethargic steelhead like to winter. I'll take the flank feather now, and using my hackle pliers, Palmer it through. And just work the material back a little bit as you palmer it through, like so. Bring it into place. And tie it off. off the waist. A couple of secure turns, a little, couple more figure eights around the lead eyes to make sure they're nice and secure. We're going to form another dubbing loop. And get the thread out of the way. We'll wax both threads as we did previously. Taking the chartreuse size stubbing again, spread it out like this, and move things out of the way, and we'll spin it. First couple of wraps will be behind the eyes, like so. And then we're basically going to figure eight the eyes back and forth underneath. Material back. Few more wraps to secure everything at the head and push the material back and clean it up a little bit. And then we'll finish it off and add a little head cement and I'll complete the fly. When you've completed the fly, you can remove the tape from the back. And then holding your vise, just make a couple of wiggles. Okay, there you go. Okay. And there you have it. Matt's Midwest Leech 
Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the video.